Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Explosion aside, SpaceX had a successful Starship rocket test flight. And the SOA Aviation celebrates Falcon 6X rollout. And people say goodbye to the first man to fly at the speed of sound. Thank you for joining us this Friday. We hope you had a great week. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have an exciting episode filled with the latest news. So let's start with, it was quite an explosion shortly after the launch of a SpaceX Starship prototype to 40,000 feet. The steel rocket prototype that SpaceX hopes will be used to put humans on Mars had a successful launch and for a few minutes everything was looking good until reignition of the Raptor rocket engines to a targeted landing. And it came so close to working this time around, but the final approach appeared to show problems with getting the engines up to a full thrust, followed by what appeared to be one or more failures. And the vehicle hit the target ramp at about 70 miles per hour. A fiery explosion followed. According to SpaceX's Elon Musk, successful ascent, switchover to header tanks, and precise flap control to landing point. He followed with additional detail. Fuel header tank pressure was low during landing burn, causing touchdown velocity to be high and rud. But we got all the data we needed. Congrats, SpaceX team. Hell yeah. Rud, by the way, stands for Rapid Unscheduled Disassembly in SpaceX speak. SpaceX also notes that with a test such as this, success is not measured by completion of specific objectives, but rather how much we can learn which will inform and improve the probability of success in the future as SpaceX rapidly advances development of Starship. Coming up, Uber sells its flying taxi business. I'll tell you for how much after the break. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. BLT is just another tick on your pre-flight checklist until you need it. Did you ever wonder what would happen if you had an engine failure over the mountains, marshland, or other dangerous terrain? Take to the skies confidently with the most reliable and highest performing ELTs and safety products on board that instantly mobilize life-saving search and rescue across the world. Read survivor stories from aviators and adventurers who survived life-threatening encounters thanks to ACR and Artex life-saving technology. Luck favors the prepared at SurvivorClub.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other stories in this segment we call Around the Patch. Joby Aviation takes over Uber Elevate. Joby Aviation announced that Uber Technologies has agreed to invest a further $75 million in Joby as part of a broader transaction. The acquisition of the Uber Elevate by Joby is an expanded partnership between the two parent companies. Under the terms of this week's deal, Joby Aviation will acquire Uber Elevate, while the two parent companies have agreed to integrate their respective services into each other's apps, enabling seamless integration between ground and air travel for future customers. And if you are looking forward to the Canadian Armed Forces 2021 Skyhawk season, well, that was cancelled. The Canadian Armed Forces Parachute Team performance season as a result of public health and other considerations related to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic was cancelled. The decision to cancel the 221 performances was reportedly made at this early juncture to provide prospective event organizers planning certainty and stability. If it's safe to do so, the Skyhawks will look to resume parachute performances in 2022. It will be a landmark year as they celebrate 50 years of performances. Boeing and the Navy have for the first time flown the MQ-25T1 test asset with Aerial Refueling Store. The significant milestone informing development of the unmanned 
aerial refueler, the successful two and a half hour flight with the Cobham ARS, the same ARS currently used by FA-18 for air-to-air -air refueling was designed to test the aircraft's aerodynamics with the ARS mounted under the wing. The flight was conducted by Boeing test pilots from a ground control station. JetBlue's first A220 takes to the skies. The first Airbus A220-300 for JetBlue Airways has completed its inaugural test flight for the Mobile Aeroplex in Brooklyn, in Mobile, Alabama. The aircraft performed its test sequences and landed safely at 522. The first of 70 A22 aircraft for JetBlue is scheduled to be delivered to the New York-based airline before the end of the year. The airline's first A220 aircraft debuted this fall featuring a brand new tail fin livery called Hops, designed by JetBlue. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Dassault Aviation celebrates Falcon 6X rollout. The final assembly team at Dassault Aviation in Bordeaux, Marigny, France, opened the doors of Charles Lindbergh Hall this week to show the world the company's newest advanced aircraft, the Falcon 6X. Though circumstances forced the company to stage a virtual unveiling, the event reportedly had a global reach. Customers and operators from all over the world logged on to see the aircraft make its first public appearance. The rollout paves the way for completion of the ground test program and extensive system checks that must be performed before the first flight, which is scheduled to occur early next year. In recent months, Pratt & Whitney Canada completed ground and flight tests of the aircraft's PW-812D engine, clearing the path for the first flight of the 6X. With a 5,500 nautical mile range and a top speed of Mach 0.90, the Falcon 6X can connect passengers to fly from London to Hong Kong or from Los Angeles to Moscow nonstop. The Falcon 6X also performs safe approaches as low as 109 knots. This allows the 6X, like other Falcons, to safely access small airports equipped with ultra-short and hard-to-reach runways. After these messages, people say goodbye to the first man to fly at the speed of sound. More in his legacy after the break. I believe that if people use the landing doctor training program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Welcome back. The first man to break the sound barrier, General Chuck Yeager, dies at 97 years old. The tweet was short, but spoke volumes from Miss Yeager. It is with profound sorrow I must tell you that my life love, General Chuck Yeager, passed just before 9 p.m. Eastern Time. An incredible life well lived. America's greatest pilot and a legacy of strength, adventure, and patriotism will be remembered forever. The first man to break through Mach 1, a World War II fighter pilot and a symbol to millions around the world. Yeager's legend was a remarkable piece of American history. He passed away on Monday evening, December 7. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine noted that, Today's passing of General Chuck Yeager is a tremendous loss for our nation. General Yeager's pioneering and innovative spirit advanced America's abilities in the sky and set our nation's dreams soaring into the jet age and the space age. He said, you don't concentrate on risks, you concentrate on results. No risk is too great to prevent the necessary job from getting done. Yeager was from a small town in the hills of West Virginia and flew for more than 60 years. He will be missed. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and to check us out on Facebook, 
Instagram, and on Twitter. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently operating on our winter schedule and is streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also catch us on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Era News or Airborne in the directory. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.